Are you ready? Yes. Great, great. If you have any other groups, you can share this link in every all the groups. No problem at all. Okay. Yeah, we'll go uh, for the discussion. So, which we are conducted uh, exam one. So that is chapter one and chapter two. We'll discuss today, and we'll be having some questions and some uh, some deep discussion about each and every questions we'll do. Okay, another half one hour. Right. So first question. <clears throat> so the actual process of IP. Okay. So that is Indian Pharmacopoeia, right? So you can see the question, right? So can anyone answer? So who is the first chairman, chairman of Indian Pharmacopoeia? Answers. It's a very basic question, very important question about Indian Pharmacopoeia, right? Very good, very good. Okay, so that right answer is Colonel R. N. Chopra. Okay, so this is the right answer and he is the first person when the IP is formed. So he is the first per uh, person to start Indian Pharmacopoeia and this is published in 1946. Okay, so and put for the approval under the chairmanship of Chopra. Okay, so remember this very important basic questions and in this IP Indian Pharmacopoeia, you must remember the edition years. Okay. First edition, second edition, third edition. In which year it got published? And then amendments. Okay, what are the amendments made to the editions? Right? And this you must remember. And IP uh, was made from which kind of uh, uh, pharmacopias? Okay, which uh, which uh, which pharmacopias information used to make IP? And before IP, which pharmacopia we followed by the government of India? Okay, so that you must uh, uh, aware the information about Indian pharmacopoeia. It's very, very important, right? Okay. Right, next question. So the volume one and two of the British pharmacopoeia describe the, okay, the options are medicinal substances, formulated preparations, blood related preparations, immunological products. Okay. Can anyone answer? So BP explains about which kind of products. BP means British Pharmacopoeia. Okay, so BP, British Pharmacopoeia explains. This is very, very important because before Indian Pharmacopoeia, okay, because is ruled by the British, British people. So before IP came into the picture, we followed BP, that is British Pharmacopoeia. And you must remember each and every point about BP always, right? What it explains, what kind of products uh, it uh, describes, okay? Medicinal substances, formulated preparations, blood related preparations, and in immunological products. Okay, somebody said B. Okay, somebody saying A, okay? Okay, the right answer is A, medicinal substances. Okay, BP explains about medicinal substances. So, it is the pharmacopoeia of UK, okay, United Kingdom, right? And they explained, they gave importance to the all medicinal substances. So, at the time, they called drugs, okay, medicinal substances. And then, mainly... It is approved, okay, and it is approved. The authority which is uh, managing the BP is MHRA, okay, Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, okay, at the time, okay. So, these are the points, important points you must remember about BP, okay, that is British Pharmacopoeia and it's a pharmacopoeia of UK, United Kingdom, right? Okay, next question. The current edition of the BP has how many volumes? Anyone answer without seeing the options? So you must focus on IP and BP because IP right now we are following before IP we followed BP. So the question will come on these two maximum. Okay. Questions will come on IP or BP maximum. Anyway, we will cover other, uh, uh, other pharmacopoeias also USP and
international form fine okay and now i'll give you options 5 6 7 8 very difficult okay so one uh, one uh, one difference from the options okay very difficult and you must know the proper exact accurate numbers you must remember you make a table okay so that will you revise many times and easily it will be remembered okay so the answer is 6 okay so there are six volumes okay in British Pharmacopoeia, right? And then nearly 3000 monographs, okay? 3000 monographs it contains. Six volumes and 3000 monographs, okay? For drug substances, excipients, and formulated preparations, right? So this is the important thing you must remember. So 3000 monographs, 3000 monographs, Six volumes. Okay, fine. Next question. The international pharmacopoeia produced by international pharmacopoeia produced by okay you want options international union of pharmacists world health organization who and then united nations commonwealth union okay who located in which place WHO located in WHO location where it is located because you have first paper you must answer these kind of questions also Geneva right so who is the uh, who is the uh, head for WHO now who is the director who is the director general for WHO now Very good. Okay, Deepika. Okay, full name, full name I need. Tedros. Tedros. Right, very good. Tedros. Other known. Okay, which country belongs to? Belongs to which country? Any idea? Important. Very small country. Okay, very good. Okay, Ghana. Okay, it belongs to Ghana. And what is the capital of Ghana? Immediately, Paul. What is the capital of Ghana? Should have the Google used in right? It's it is Accra. Okay, Ghana capital Accra, a very small country, and from that country, uh, so many people uh, uh, became world famous persons. Okay, uh, so many people are there, right? So one is the Tedros, right? Okay, then the answer is WHO World Health Organization. The present director general is Tedros, thanks to Ghana country. Okay, Ghana is uh, capital is Accra. Okay, right. So these are the this is listed initially essential medicines. Okay, and that is recommended by WHO disease programs as well as medicines for the children. Right, that is WHO. Right, next. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, an official book of standards adopted by Germany, France. Italy, Netherlands, Switzerland, Belgium. Okay. Official book of standards adopted by all these countries, especially Europe countries. Okay. British Pharmacopoeia, European Pharmacopoeia, United States of Pharmacopoeia, Chinese Pharmacopoeia.
okay so if you see the countries their countries belongs to europe countries okay so aa vidhanga nenu you can answer meer atla kuda answer cheyachu konni saarlu dan guri subject avasaram ledhu just apply logic okay apply minimum basics then easily you will answer these are all european countries and then it will be european pharmacopoeia right so this is uh, adapted in 1964 okay europe issued an order to frame european pharmacopoeia 1964 so which will adapted by which is adapted by germany france italy and netherlands switzerland and belgium right so you remember this this is 1964 okay 1964 right european pharmacopoeia okay next question indian pharmacopoeia commission has published ip under the authority of ip commission ipc published under the authority of options ministry of health and family welfare mhra pmda none what are this anybody any answer okay the right answer is mho ministry of family and welfare okay ministry of health and family welfare so that is in 1940 according to the rules 1940 and 1945 so this ip is recognized as the official book of standards for the drugs manufacturing gaani anything okay manufacturing packaging and everything and then it contains other procedures as well to identify the purity okay identify the standards identify the quality okay so these regulations related to the drugs is issued by authority of ministry of family and health and, Welf health and family welfare and that is ipc indian pharmacopoeia commission they they will take care about the drugs okay right before publication of ip which official book was used for the reference of pharmacy any answer right okay Bef because we ruled by the british people so before our ip so we used uh, they used bp okay british pharmacopoeia okay that is bp british pharmacopoeia okay already we discussed about this in 1944 after starting that uh, before starting uh, indian pharmacopoeia okay plant used as anti malarial drug right answer can anyone which plant will be used as anti malarial drug okay options are artemisia fennel coriander digitalis so very simple okay artemisinin what is the biological source of artemisinin what is the biological source of artemisinin artemisia full name artemisia anna okay artemisia anna a n n u a anna okay artemisian anna right so it belongs to which family okay that is artemisia the right answer and this is used in combination therapies okay artemisinin based combination therapies mainly obtained from artemisia anva okay this is important the biological source artemisia anva okay and this used in artemisinin based combination therapies act therapy right and what is the other uses so this is our artemisia anva plant okay so it belongs the biological source is artemisia anva belongs to family asteraceae and this is also known as sweet warm wood synonyms are very important okay sweet warm wood it is also called as sweet warm wood right sweet warm wood right next question drug is used in 
used as antihypertensive easy okay very easy direct question which drug hypertensive raulfia digitalis quill stropanthus okay the answer is raulfia what is the biological source of raulfia biological source of raulfia biological source of raulfia very good that is raulfia serpentina the explanation is raulfia okay so raulfia serpentina it's a alkaloid it contains reserpin okay it is important reserpin to treat blood pressure and other neurological diseases okay anti hypertensive effect by binding to the catecholamine in the nerve cells it will directly inhibit the catecholamine okay that is a mechanism action of reserpin it obtained from raulfia serpentina okay this is the drug this is the plant okay so here you can see bark okay so this is the root okay raulfia serpentina so it is in the form of snake okay that's why it's also called as uh, uh, a snake root okay snake root also and uh, these are the roots used the drug extracted from the roots mainly reserpin and this is the plant okay raulfia serpentina it looks very beautiful right treatment of various ailments such as snake bites it can be used in snake bites insomnia what is insomnia insomnia means the symptom which you are facing now yes or no what is insomnia meaning yes sleeplessness are you facing this symptom now are you suffering with this symptom yes or no are you suffering with this symptom or not no okay right very good no problem so those who are suffering it is fine those who are not suffering also fine okay because those who are tensed yes obviously will not get sleep because exam is approaching very near okay so this is raulfia serpentina it the belong, the family belongs to apocynaceae okay apocynaceae so source of biological drugs are anar kabatti meeku source kuda important ekka nunchi vastadi a family okay then chemical constants chaala important okay it belongs to family apocynaceae insomnia sleeplessness hypertension then insanity ante mental disorders insanity mental disorders then also it is reported to uh, useful in neurological disorders also okay raul fia serpentina recent report says that it is also useful in neurological disorders this is about raul fia okay the next question tuberculosis obtained from cephalis epicoc chondrodendron tomentosum calabar bean none what is the answer what is the answer come on c calabar bean somebody is saying c somebody is saying d tuberculosis okay d to what is the category of tuberculosis i hope you came across in pharmacology what is the category which in which uh, classification you have read about this drug d tuberculosis yes very good okay skeletal muscle relaxant very good okay so tuberculosis obtained from what is the source right so the answer is chondrodendron tomentosum chondrodendron tomentosum and the most important product from menispermaceae okay it belongs to family menispermaceae the curare okay 
tubercularin chloride tubercularin chloride which is obtained mostly from this particular plant okay it, it is present mostly in the brazil okay it is present in brazil okay and it is used in the surgery okay skeletal malice which is a relaxant used in the surgery right okay this is a plant so it will be approximately 10 to 30 centimeters uh, uh, width okay it will grow it will grow on the other plants okay it will uh, it will it's a uh, growing plant with the help of other big plants okay right so mainly this roots will be 10 to uh, 30 centimeters width okay this is the plant that is conodendron tomentosum so it contains these particular toxins okay these are particular poisons and muscle relaxant if unfortunately if you eat this this particular plant then it will be causing skeletal muscle relaxant it will become poison then again repeated question reserpin is obtained from which plant reserpin again we discussed already okay that is raulfia serpentina right which part of the plant okay that is seeds roots flowers all of the above i showed you the roots also how the image of the roots that's why you don't forget okay don't forget so that is roots so raulfia serpentina what is the family which family it belongs to raulfia serpentina belongs to which family you remember just now i told Which family belongs to? Aposanish. Okay, very good. Then, strychnine is obtained from which plant part? Strychnine obtained from which part of the plant? Strychnine. Strychnine obtained from which part of the plant? Right, very good. Seeds, Naxvomica. It's a very, very important drug. You must remember Naxvomica. This uh, particular drug repeatedly coming in the competitive exams. So many exams in pharmacist exam, GPAT exam, NIPER exam. Okay, this is focused plant. Okay, that is Naxvomica. So we'll see what are the important points about Naxvomica. Okay, seeds, roots, flowers, and all of the above. Okay, the answer is A. That is seeds, thickness, Naxvomica. It forms endospore and the uh, biological source, strychnos naxomica, okay, strychnos ignati. So other other source, strychnos titente, titente, okay, upas tree. So like this, they have different names, different sources, okay, and it is widely, okay, widely used in poison cases, okay. So poison case lo you just require and uh, exposure to strychnine is, can be fatal okay okay if you expose to these particular seeds or plant again this will be fatal it will cause death right it is odorless and is a bitter taste okay odorless and bitter taste so this is the plant that is strychnus naxomica strychnus naxomica it looks very beautiful it attracts but if you eat it will kill you right remember Okay, so like this, it will appear, and this is also strychnus naxomica. These are the seeds. Okay, these are the seeds. These are the seeds. Okay, remember, don't eat eat this kind of seeds if you come across. And the important part, important point about naxomica, lignified trichomes. Just remember, if you are discussing about naxomica, means you must remember lignified trichomes. Okay, lignified trichomes. Okay, that is lignified trichomes.
okay so and what are the what are the okay where it is used okay naxomica used in erectile dysfunction erectile dysfunction ed and then swelling of the stomach constipation anxiety migraine and many other conditions important achesi meeku erectile dysfunctions lo use chestaru constipation lo use chestaru migraine lo use chestaru okay small amounts very small amount that is strychnus naxomica strychnine untadi endi dintlo em untadi strychnine untadi strychnine okay very important strychnine untadi okay right next what is the family yeah strych naxomica family Can anyone what is the family of naxomica belongs to yes very good okay logonesia perfect next the important other important drug is quinine okay quinine quinine is obtained from which part of the plant okay quinine obtained from which part of the plant okay options flower bark stem none so very important cinchona bark we always call cinchona bark okay cinchona bark what is the family what is the biological source of cinchona okay anti malarial agent quinine is derived from the bark of the cinchona tree along with several other alkaloids and salicylates aspirin okay cinchona of cinchona family cinchona family okay very good rubiaceae right cinchona officinalis the family belongs to rubiaceae this is bark very important remember cinchona angane bark gurtu pettukovali okay in the olden days before 300 before before 300 bc okay uh, sorry before 3000 bc so this plant used for the treatment of malaria okay 3000 bc ante 3000 థౌజండ్ బీసీ నుంచే ఈ ప్లాంట్ యూజ్ చేస్తున్నారు ఓకే సో ప్లీజ్ రిమెంబర్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ డ్రగ్ ఓకే త్రీ థౌజండ్ బీసీ నుంచే దే యూ దే ఆర్ యూజింగ్ దిస్ ప్లాంట్ ఇన్ ఎ నార్మల్ ట్రెడిషనల్ మెథడ్ ట్రెడిషనల్ మెథడ్ నుంచే ఫీవర్ వచ్చినప్పుడు ఈ ప్లాంట్ యూజ్ చేసేవాళ్ళు బార్క్ ఓకే సో దట్ ఈస్ సింకోనా బార్క్ సింకోనా ఆఫీషనాలే ఈ బిలాంగ్స్ టు ద ఫ్యామిలీ రూబిఏషియే ఈ ప్లాంట్ ఫ్యామిలీస్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ రూబిఏషియే అన్ని ఏషియాలే ఉంటాయి లోగన్ ఏషియా అపోనెస్ అపోసైన్ ఏషియా రూబీ ఏషియా అన్ని ఏషియాలే ఉంటాయి ఏషియాలు అన్ని గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాలి ప్రాపర్గా లేకపోతే ఏషాలు అయిపోతాయి మన మన లైఫ్ ఏషాలు అవుతుంది రైట్ అందుకని ప్రాపర్గా గుర్తుపెట్టండి చదివిన డ్రగ్స్ కొన్నైనా ప్రాపర్గా చదవండి రైట్ ఓకే దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో నోన్ యాజ్ జెసూట్స్ బార్క్ ఓకే అండ్ పెరువియన్ బార్క్ జెసూట్స్ బార్క్ అండ్ పెరువియన్ బార్క్ సినోనిమ్స్ ఆల్సో ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఓకే జెసూట్స్ బార్క్ అండ్ peruvian bark okay so it contains not less than 6% of total alkaloid of cinchona okay so that is quinine that is quinine this is very very important anti malarial agent quinine right next so chloramphenicol is obtained from chloramphenicol is obtained from what is the source of chloramphenicol what is the source of chloramphenicol okay the options steps of streptomyces venizulae streptomyces fradiae streptomyces griseus and none okay the answer is venizulae right very good right answer venizulae okay right answer venizulae streptomyces venizulae 
okay so this is synthetically manufactured as a broad spectrum antibiotic okay it was initially isolated from the bacteria streptomyces venezuela okay in 1948 right it's a broad spectrum antibiotic it's a broad spectrum antibiotic and in 1948 independence raangane you identify yes within 1947 lo chin 1948 okay right then what are the main adverse effect of chloramphenicol okay bone marrow toxicity and gray baby syndrome very very important okay gray baby syndrome and bone marrow toxicity okay bone marrow toxicity important ivu rendu chaala important gray baby syndrome and bone marrow toxicity bmt okay bone marrow toxicity this is venezuela right what are the important uses okay it is used in hemophilus influenza infections that is meningi meningitis and typhus okay it's also used in typhus infections typhoid and rocky mountain spotted fever chaala important idi rocky mountain spotted fever la use chesthe antibiotic endante meeku chloramphenicol ani pettukovali right and then eye infections me chloramphenicol eye drops vastayi okay eye infections kuda use chestaru then important side effect as we discussed bmt and then gray baby syndrome other than this and it is also cause aplastic anemia and super infection okay aplastic anemia and super infection right so this is very very important chloramphenicol drug so idi chaala important drug deenne kuda every time question vastadi okay anni competitive exams lo question compulsory vastadi right so andukane please remember ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఏవైతే మదర్ డ్రగ్స్ ఉంటాయో అవిటిని ఖచ్చితంగా గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాలి వాటి గురించి క్లోరాంఫెనికల్ స్ట్రక్చర్గా గుర్తుపెట్టుకోవాలి బ్రాడ్ స్పెక్ట్రమ్ యాంటీబయాటిక్ ఓకే వాట్ ఈస్ అ మెకానిఫాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ క్లోరాంఫెనికల్ క్లోరాంఫెనికల్ మెకానిఫాక్షన్ ఎస్ ప్రోటీన్ సింథసిస్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ మెకానిజం ఐఎమ్ ఆస్కింగ్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ మెకానిజం ప్రోటీన్ సింథస్ అనేది ఎవరైనా చెప్తారు రైట్ ఓకే ఇట్ విల్ బి బైండింగ్ టు మేజర్ సబ్ యూనిట్ ఆఫ్ రైబోజోమ్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇయర్స్ ఓకే అందుకని దీన్ని ఏమంటాం వాట్ ఈస్ అదర్ నేమ్ మ్యాక్రోలైట్స్ సో ఇట్ విల్ బైండ్ టు బిగర్ సబ్ యూనిట్ ఆఫ్ రైబోజోమ్స్ రైట్ ఓకే వెరీ గుడ్ అండ్ దెన్ then this in obtained from bacillus subtilis xanthomonas campestris streptococcus mutans and phosphoglucomutase what is the answer bacitracin what is the category of the drug bacitracin comes under which category bacitracin comes under which category of drug antibiotic very good okay polymyxins right okay the right answer is bacillus subtilis so bacillus subtilis is used as a biological indicator in which in which place i told you in the class bacillus subtilis bacillus subtilis spores used as a biological indicators in which place yeah which type of sterilization which type of sterilization moist heat or dry heat or filtration ah ekkada very good dry heat sterilization lo బయలజికల్ ఇండికేటర్స్ గా యూజ్ చేస్తారు బాసిల్లస్ సప్తలిస్ స్పోర్స్ స్పోర్ ఫామ్ ని యాజ్ ఎ బయలజికల్ ఇండికేటర్ లాగా యూజ్ చేస్తారు డ్రై హిప్ స్టెలైజేషన్ డ్రై హిప్ స్టెలైజేషన్ ఓకే సో బాసిల్లస్ సప్తలిస్ బాసిల్లస్ లైక్ లైకెనో ఫార్మిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో లైకెనో ఫార్మిస్ 
it's a polypeptide antibiotic very very important pacitracin is an antibiotic okay and it is active against gram positive bacteria okay polypeptide antibiotic polypeptide antibiotic against gram positive bacteria that is narrow spectrum okay so mechanism action inhibit the cell wall synthesis inhibit the cell wall synthesis right then important not used systemically andukane meeku bacitracin only ointment form lone dorukutadi tubes form lone untadi don't use systematic systemically okay systemically use cheyalem manam meeku kinda question raavachu which of the following is not used as systemically okay so different different drugs meeku isthe andulo important bacitracin only manam topically use chestam okay so that is it not used systemically and then used in topical mouth infections nose infections eye infections and skin infections okay topical eye mouth nose skin infections lo use chesaru and then it's also used in wounds and the mucus okay mucus lo emana mucus layer meda emana wounds aina kuda use chesaru that is bacitracin important very very important remember it's a polypeptide antibiotic and then selenium is used in which condition rheumatoid arthritis dandruff hyperacidity and none selenium a very famous product all of all of your uh, famous product what is that ekkada use chestaru rheumatoid arthritis ah dandruff ah ओके रईट रईट आन सर डाड्रफ ओके प्रती षापो सेलीनियम उ तो सेलीनियम कंटंट तो ऐंटी डाड्रफ ऐक्टिविटी वस्तु ओके सो सेलीनियम रईट सेलीनियम सलफाइड इट ऐंटी इंफेक्टिव एजेंट ओके सो दट वि रिमूव द फ्लेक्स अंड रिमूव द डाड्रफ अंड द स्का सो वेरी इंपारटेंट fungal infection lo use chestaru that is selenium right next gold salts is used in treatment of gold salts used in the treatment of the answer is ri dandruff hyperacidity okay first they have dandruff and gold salts used in rheumatoid arthritis okay rheumatoid arthritis very very important gold gold rheumatoid arthritis selic dandruff selenium okay right so this is using since 1927 okay 1927 ante older method anamata ivanni older drugs okay so in old days when british people are ruling india okay so at that time they are using different plants for the treatment of different diseases this is also one of the treatment gold salts used for the rheumatoid arthritis okay next tetrodoc tetrodotoxin is obtained from herpeses flustra foliaceae laferelia verbali variabilis none what is the answer tetrodotoxin obtained from okay that is answer is puffer fishes puffer fishes okay so extremely poison okay extremely poison so this this fish contains in its organs it contains extremely poison okay main ga a fish lo unna liver gaani sexual organs gaani okay so what lo idi ekwa tetrodotoxin accumulate ayuntadi 
if you eat that fish without proper processing then it will cause uh, poisonous okay and then kind of fish poisonous untai aa ye fish varu aa fish dinad dorkindi kada ani so okela tinna kuda dani proper ga process cheyali and then processing is very important for the fish okay fish food right so uh so it's also contains some other fish like octopus okay shellfish and then amphibian some of the other amphibians also this poison contains right so it protects it protected okay it protects by using this poison okay andulo a poison untadu kabatti some predators evaithe untayo they will be running away from its uh, own place right so what is the mechanism of action how it is inter uh, interfere the uh, other 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 organisms so it is interfere with the transmission of signals from nerves to muscles and causes an increasing paralysis of the muscles of the body when this tetrodotoxin enters into body it causes paralysis and can i stem of a paralysis of stuff okay and then that is called tetrado tetrodotoxin poisoning tetrodotoxin poisoning sometimes the individual may be killed okay it leads to death it leads to death that is tetrodotoxin tetrodotoxin from the fish okay so puffer fish or shellfish or globe fish is also called as globe fish or toad fish okay globe fish or toad fish toad fish okay then important soxitoxin obtained from octopus macropus elidon moschata soxidomus gigantea and none what is the answer naxomica na naxomica ekkadi kelochindi evarillu madhya madhyalo vere vere rastunnaru very good okay so maybe meer appude pro message chesthe network ledam okay fine the answer is saxidomus gigantea okay answer is saxidomus gigantea saxitoxin it contains saxitoxin it is also known as butter clam okay butter clam because it found in paralytic shellfish poisoning okay paralytic shellfish poisoning which derived from the genus name saxidomus so saxidomus ane genus nunchi ochindi kabatti danni saxotoxin saxitoxin antaru okay saxitoxin saxitoxin okay so mechanism of action is are selective but reversible blockers of voltage gated sodium sodium channel blockers and important thing they cross the bbb blood brain barrier that's why it acts as a poison toxin most of the poisons are able to cross the bbb that's why they are they are very fatal okay that is blood brain barrier can uh, cross chestadu kabatti immediately it will it will affect the central nervous system it will affect the central nervous system and that leads to death sometimes okay so saponin containing drugs are used as okay already meek answer kuda chupichinam kabatti so it is the expectorant saponin contains expectorant it contains hydrophobic egg glycon hydrophobic egg glycon linked to hydrophilic carbohydrate so that is saponin okay saponins so can you can you name any drug which is you which uh, is a saponin drug saponin drug pharmacognosy pharmacognosy drug used as a saponin not visible clear ipudu varaku vinpichindha ipada ipada ga vinpichu ipude emindi is it clear are you audible am i audible 
Right, very good. Jenshian, Jinseng. Expectorant and also anti-passive agents. Okay. Expectorant and anti-passive agents. Okay. Yeah, fine. So maybe your connectivity problem is there. So these are the some of the questions and we discussed from the chapter one and chapter two. Okay, Indian pharmacopoeia and then different sources of drugs. Chapter two. This, this is the discussion. Video is not clear. Let me check. So now visible. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Wait, let me check, let me check. Somebody is saying clear. Maybe your connectivity problem because it's been one hour. Uh, so maybe your dad data problems are there. Please check it. Somebody is saying it's clear. Yeah, now clear, right? I had tested already. Yeah, fine. I hope it is clear. Yeah. So this is what uh, we are uh, uh, discussed from chapter one and chapter two, and we are also going to discuss another chapters one by one. So it is uh, free for all. Okay, so paper descriptions are free, but our students can get uh, practice test series. Okay, and if you want test series, please uh, purchase from our mobile application. So it is accessed to everyone. Okay, so you purchase our test series and practice the test, and then every day we'll continue the paper discussion. Okay, every day we'll continue the paper discussion. Clear? Is it clear? Okay, because these are the uh, uh, non-specific topics. So we discussed the superficially, but the coming topics are very specific. We'll go in detail and we'll discuss one by one in detail. Okay, clear? So please uh, inform everyone. So every day we will be having paper discussions and we'll be intimating you in our WhatsApp group. And our uh, we will provide the YouTube live also daily, okay, five to seven. So we'll be having paper discussions every day evening five to seven, and we are also going to conduct offline tests in our office. If someone want to write the exam, so whatever the exams we are going to conduct from today onwards, so it will be offline. So those who are nearby come here and write the exams, and after the exam, uh, exam followed by. You can attend offline also paper discussion. So this is what we are going to provide. Those who are nearby, you can come to paper discussion offline. And also you can avail the facility here. You can write offline exam also. Those who are not our students, you can also come to write the exams, pay some amount. You can directly attend the exam and you can continue for the paper discussion also offline. I'm saying offline, not online. Online also fine. We will conduct in this way online. Those who are far away, yes, you can attend from online through online. But those who are nearby, you can come here into our space. So we are open. Okay, you can come offline. You can write the exam in offline mode, 
and followed by we will be conducting say paper discussion is it clear how many of you are interested to come on uh, offline here to write the paper discussion to, to, to write the exams offline so these are uh, coming 20 days okay coming one month you take the leave from your companies or whatever you are doing to take off okay and please follow the preparation okay leave this kondi so ee 20 days ee one month chaala important meeku etla prepare avutunnaru anedi so that's why please take leave okay or uh, free from your uh, work and focus on the preparation you come here you come to our office we have very uh, nice uh, classroom digital classroom you can write the exam here and you can follow by listen the paper discussion offline anyway online it is continued daily so both format lo untay discussion but offline lo vaste effective ga untadi paper kuda rasukochu clear on fine okay so we are create so i have shared the uh, link for all of you and you can share the link those who are interested to come offline uh, exams and offline paper discussion please fill this form and we will uh, make arrangements for all of you
yeah you can share this link to everyone no problem okay those who are really interested you can register without registration you should not come to uh, offline okay it's a free registration and you uh, send this uh, link to everyone if someone is interested also they can come other other than master yes they have extra students no need to pay okay they can come offline and you share this url link and we'll see how many of you are interested and share this link link to all of your friends other than masters also fine share the link and let them register for offline exams and paper discussions every day so we are going to crack all waiting posts are you ready for that okay 18 drag inspector post ever i told you yes we are challenging we are going to crack all the seats by masters so in that way we are preparing are you ready i need your answers ओके वर्क पक्न पेटी वन मंथ ओके वन मंथ मन की सो करेक्ट ट्वेंटी डेस् प्रापर प्रिपेर अवि फुल टाइम इवें ओके दुर् लाइफ बी से ओके यू कैन यू वर्क फिउट द फाम ओके यू फिल दाम अवर पीपल विल का any one can come okay you fill out the form our people will call you and then we'll inform all the details okay tomorrow onwards your uh, tomorrow day after tomorrow will be announcing shortly so you first fill out the form and share this link to everyone share this link to everyone so that they can also come Okay, fine. Okay, here I am ending. So we'll start again. Fresh uh, again. Continue the discussion, paper discussion tomorrow. Okay, please uh, watch out WhatsApp group and our website for the links and information. We'll inform you. Thank you, all of you. All the best for the preparation. Please share the link to all of everyone.